Rotifer. We was talk about them previously. Now we have a different species of rotifer. The rotifers, from the Latin, rota means wheel and fur means bearing, commonly called wheel animals or wheel animalcules, make up a phylum of rotifera microscopic pseudocolumate animals. They were first described by John Harris in 1696, and other forms were described by Antony van Leeuwenhoek in 1703. Most rotifers are around 0.1 to 0.5 millimeters, although their size can range from 50 micrometer. That means one micrometer is equal to one millionth of a meter. Are common in freshwater environments throughout the world with a few saltwater species. Some rotifers are free swimming and truly planktonic, others move by inchworming along a substrate, and some are sessile, living inside tubes or gelatinous holdfasts that are attached to a substrate. About 25 species are colonial e.g. Sinantharina semibolata, either sessile or planktonic. Rotifers are an important part of the freshwater zooplankton, being a major food source and with many species also contributing to the decomposition of soil organic matter. Most species of the rotifers are cosmopolitan, but there are also some endemic species, like Cephalodella vitata to Lake Baikal. Recent barcoding evidence, however, suggests that some cosmopolitan species, such as Brachinus plicatilis, B. calciflorus, Lecane bulla, among others, are actually species complexes. In some recent treatments, rotifers are placed with acanthosphalans in a larger clade called Cindermata. John Harris first described the rotifers, in particular a B. deloid rotifer in 1696 as an animal like a large maggot which could contract itself into a spherical figure and then stretch itself out again. The end of its tail appeared with a forceps like that of an earwig. In 1702, Antony van Leeuwenhoek gave a detailed description of rotifer vulgaris and subsequently described Melicerta ringens and other species. He was also the first to publish observations of the revivification of certain species after drying. Other forms were described by other observers, but it was not until the publication of Christian Gottfried Ehrenberg's Die Infusionsturch and Als Volkamin Organismen in 1838 that the rotifers were recognized as being multicellular animals. About 2,200 species of rotifers have been described. Their taxonomy is currently in a state of flux. One treatment places them in the phylum Rotifera, with three classes, Sacinidea, B. deloidea, and Monogononta. The largest group is the Monogononta, with about 1,500 species, followed by the B. deloidea, with about 350 species. There are only two known genera with three species of Sacinidea. The Acanthosphala, previously considered to be a separate phylum, have been demonstrated to be modified rotifers. The exact relationship to other members of the phylum has not yet been resolved. One possibility is that the Acanthosphala are closer to the B. deloidea and monogon onto than to the Sacinidea. The corresponding names and relationships are shown in the cladogram below. Digestive System the coronal cilia create a current that sweeps food into the mouth. The mouth opens into a characteristic chewing pharynx called the mastax, sometimes via a ciliated tube and sometimes directly. The pharynx has a powerful muscular wall and contains tiny, calcified, jaw-like structures called trophi, which are the only fossilizable parts of a rotifer. The shape of the trophi varies between different species, depending partly on the nature of their diet. In suspension feeders, the trophi are covered in grinding ridges, while in more actively carnivorous species, they may be shaped like forceps to help bite into prey. In some ectoparasitic rotifers, the mastax is adapted to grip onto the host, although, in others, the foot performs this function instead. Behind the mastax lies an esophagus, which opens into a stomach where most of the digestion and absorption occurs. The stomach opens into a short intestine that terminates in a cloaca on the posterior dorsal surface of the animal.
Up to seven salivary glands are present in some species, emptying to the mouth in front of the esophagus, while the stomach is associated with two gastric glands that produce digestive enzymes. A pair of proteinephridia open into a bladder that drains into the cloaca. These organs expel water from the body, helping to maintain osmotic balance. Nervous System Rotifers have a small brain, located just above the mastax, from which a number of nerves extend throughout the body, the number of nerves varies among species, although the nervous system usually has a simple layout. Close to the brain lies a retrocerebral organ, consisting of two glands either side of a medial sac. The sac drains into a duct that divides into two before opening through pores on the uppermost part of the head. The function of the retrocerebral organ is unclear. The nervous system comprises about 25% of the roughly 1,000 cells in a rotifer. Rotifers typically possess one or two pairs of short antennae and up to five eyes. The eyes are simple in structure, sometimes with just a single photoreceptor cell. In addition, the bristles of the corona are sensitive to touch, and there are also a pair of tiny sensory pits lined by cilia in the head region. Bedelloid rotifers are one of the strangest of all animals. Uniquely, these small, freshwater invertebrates reproduce entirely asexually and have avoided sex for some 80 million years. At any point of their life cycle, they can be completely dried out and live happily in a dormant state before being rehydrated again. This last ability has allowed them to colonize a number of treacherous habitats such as freshwater pools and the surfaces of mosses, and lichens, where water is plentiful but can easily evaporate away. The bedeloids pronounced with a silent bee have evolved a suite of adaptations for surviving dry spells and some of these have had an unexpected side effect. They've made the bedeloids the most radiation-resistant animals on the planet. Video capture and sample collected by Naeem. Information source are from National Geographic and Wikipedia. Thank you for joining this journey with us, and thanks to those wonderful people who are supporting this channel as we explore the unseen world. If you want to see more from our Master of Microscope then like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.